Hi guys, it's Vanille and welcome to today's video and welcome to another reaction. This is a WW reaction and this video was recommended by one of my community members, uh, DHR Shanner. I don't know how to pronounce the name. He said she saw that she needs to see Prime Arton was a menace. Uh, he was actually replying to another user saying watch Prime Edge was a savage and I did watch that video already so thank you so much for letting that person know but yeah I'm gonna go right now I did find a video called uh, Prime Randy Orton was a menace which is exactly what this person is asking for so this video is by Wrestling Gifts uh, so I'm gonna go and react to this but if you are interested in WWE reactions make sure to subscribe for more and turn the notification bell so you don't miss an upload I also do upload on my Patreon patreon.com slash support bunny the videos that I upload there are mostly copyrighted or blocked on YouTube and sometimes I do react to full matches and uh, events that are basically blocked by YouTube so if you want to check out that you can go there and I also do shout outs to comments there too so maybe you did recommend something and I did react to it there you can go and check it out patreon.com slash support bunny all right guys let's go and watch this video <laughs> I think a lot of people, including myself, have forgotten how much of a f***ing menace to society Randy Orton was in his prime. Yo, Randy Orton in his prime in the 2000s was more than a heel. He was more Bro, than Bro, I didn't he forget. Than he was I just didn't know. Mental. He was a psychopath. He was a savage. Randy's character was straight up insane, oh. and it was legendary. Randy at mm. first just started off as a regular blue chair prospect, and you would have never, ever expected this kid right here, this kid right here, would end up becoming the menace that he ended up becoming. Yo, at first, he was just a young kid in evolution, doing the dirty work and helping Triple H bury the Raw roster one step at a time. But eventually, okay. he was doing some of the most insane things we've ever seen in wrestling. It all started when he was 23 years old. Randy Orton became the legend killer, and this man would just simply go around and beat up legends. These poor old men who could barely move half of the time, broken hips and bones. I don't think that is actually fair. Like, in my opinion, then wrestling young people who are literally so young and full of energy just beating up old people like you know the outcome and i feel like the reason they do that because people just like to see that they just like to see old people getting destroyed why are you so mean why do you like to see that i always feel sad i feel like they're gonna break their bones and that is not gonna heal guys and if it does it will take 20 years you name it it didn't matter he would rko these men he would kick them downstairs spit in their face and oh my bad it wasn't Ew. even just men even 80 year old oh my god Mula no but i mean she did kind of deserve it but now nah, randy was a yo, young yo, yo 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 saying casually that an old woman deserves to be beaten up <laughs> we're not gonna go there but after the insane match with Foley and winning the world Whoa, title, he so much slowly blood. actually no, became no. a face, a good guy. The fans wanted to cheer him, especially up guy. against Triple H. And the plans were he was going to be the future of Raw. His legend killer days were gone. He was going to be good guy Randy Orton carrying right. the Raw brand, being the okay. future of the WWE. I like that. I yeah, like him being the good guy. he was going to be good guy Randy Orton. Why? But the issue was, uh, does this look like a good guy to you? Randy in 04 and 05 just gave no. off the biggest douchebag okay, vibe I changed you my could mind. imagine. Nah, -uh, he, he, his face. There are people with, okay, I'm gonna say this, don't hate on me, but there are people who have a punchable face. And when I mean that, he's hot, he's awesome, he's sexy, he's, like, he is pretty boy, you know? But he has a punchable face in the way like that, he makes this smirk that makes you like, ugh hate on it you know i don't know if it is the way he makes his expressions facial facial expressions how he portrays his character or he's just born with it but i just said what i said and i stand by it he didn't know how to act like a face. It was awkward. It was weird. So they just went all in with this villain character. We thought Randy was going crazy before. Wow, he's beating up legends. Cool. No, no. After this, it was GG. Nobody was safe. Everyone was catching it, <gasps> including his girlfriend. So he had a girlfriend in early 05, the Excuse sexy me? Stacey Keebler. But nah, she was too much of a distraction. So what does he do? Middle of the ring, kiss and RKO. Be no! Gone, gone. Leave me alone. Excuse me? What the hell? God. Hey, Jake the Snake looked at him weird. Doesn't matter. RKO. But... It was the Undertaker feud that drove him to insanity. Oh. It was this feud right here you that can, made Randy you... into the monster that we all know him as. So Randy couldn't beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania, of course not. right? Boo right? It's fine, Randy. It's all good. Nah, 
Nah, Randy doesn't go down like that. So what does Randy do in the months after that? All right, so first, let me interfere and cost you a WWE title match, okay? Let me put a dummy that looks do? like you in a casket to trip you out. But you know what? That's not enough. Let me actually put you in the casket and then set it on fire. And then basically <sighs> dance on your grave. Randy lost one match at WrestleMania to The Undertaker and he made his personal vendetta to smoke on that Undertaker pack and when he got it, that pack was loud. But oh, okay, Undertaker, you're gonna keep coming back from the dead? It's yeah. fine, no worries. What does this man do? On the Eddie Guerrero Smackdown tribute episode, they have Eddie Guerrero's lowrider out there to pay respect to Eddie. What Eddie. this psychopath? He takes The Undertaker, places him on the back of the lowrider, and Bro, yes, Eddie had just died a few days before this. He That's gets so him a lowrider and reverses that thing back into the Smackdown down stage causing the Bro. undertaker and the car to blow up Bro. and that wasn't the last time poor eddie guerrero was getting clapped in his grave a few months later after eddie's best friend ray mysterio won the royal rumble ray won it for eddie he pulled off a miracle what does randy say to ray in the middle of the ring while ray is what? looking to the heavens looking oh, at no. eddie oh no eddie's down there in he's about to say in hell this is so mean you guys like this requires you even if even if it is for a job okay he, i know it's a job i know it's a job he doesn't mean it he doesn't really mean it but he still said it okay so the fact that he still said it this requires him immediately after this to go to church and pray for god's forgiveness i am telling you like this is so bad <laughs> This man had officially lost it. And yep. how can we forget about the tag you would team hate of Raiden on a man like that. This was a tag team match made in hell. You take Edge, that slimy, disgusting piece of shit. No. And then you take Randy Orton, the man with no morals, no respect, and together, they were straight up animals. But yep. after all those shenanigans in 04, 05, 06, 07 was the year where Randy Orton changed once again. And this time, he went from the legend killer... To the viper and no no don't worry it's fine he what still killed legends you know viper? he beat up sergeant slaughter jerry the king lawler oh, yeah. you know casually slapped cody Rhodes' dad in front of him and then proceeded to beat his ass on pay-per-view don't worry he still did that but when he became the viper that's when he introduced a new finisher to his arsenal and ladies and gentlemen this is one of the most vicious finishers of all time this was a move that every single kid who was watching at the time wanted to do so bad but they were always scared that they were probably gonna kill their friend if they did it this was the move that simply meant lights out there was no kick Kicking out of this, the punt. What do you Randy mean? Lights Lawrence out. Punt kick was on another level. This move was actually scary. Okay, when he used to hit someone with this, you Ouch. thought they were dead, bro. What a Ouch. move! Normal wrestlers had like normal moves, right? Like standard wrestling moves. Randy was like, nah. Okay. I'm gonna start kicking mother Canuckers in the head. What are you gonna do about it? Once Randy started doing the punt, he started doing ah. things that were just straight up evil. First, he was feeding with John Cena, right? This man handcuffed Cena to the ropes and then spent like 10 Where's minutes Cena? just casually beating up John Cena's dad in the middle of the no, ring. No, his dad! Yeah, I heard this! I remember I think he saw this. Watches. And it didn't stop That's there. No, so no, no. Did I mention that on another episode of Raw, Randy Orton just grabbed Cena's dad from the crowd, threw him over, and just boom, punted no. him in the head. Like, yo, but his dad is on Cena's it. Dad, That's the we thing. Oh my god, how could he do that? That's so disrespectful. Randy was like, yo, I'm gonna send this man to heaven. Yeah. Randy got the WWE Championship in late 07 and he dominated, okay? Remember when ISIS was running that one summer? Well, Randy Orton was basically Ex running the winter wait, of 07 is, uh, and the spring of 08. Wait, yo, wh triple what ISIS? Well, what is, is there a person actually called ISIS? Or are we talking about late light work he clapped him so hard he was bleeding so much that you think he needed a blood transfusion a feud with jeff hardy well when he's in the ring let me just take his brother okay, that is a villain backstage and punt him jeff fam <laughs> at this point randy Orton I mean, basically looks was like a terrorist yo randy had a match with john okay, cena and then no we're talking about that and this annoyed me so much so they were both in the middle of the ring they had been wrestling for like 15 minutes it was a solid match and that's like okay they're face to face it's about to go down randy is gonna get beat up cena's gonna take back his championship and you're ready you're anticipating and you're hyped but randy slaps the referee and everyone's like wait what what why, why? Did he slap the referee? what happened yeah. but then the referee disqualifies randy orton and randy just runs away with the title this man purposely what? got himself disqualified in a championship match to stay champion on a pay-per-view but yeah man all those things were wild that's all a thing i thought if you get disqualified you lose the title what Dude, that's a cheap code. Everyone can just get themselves disqualified like that.
moments that were insane. Randy Orton finally see that they're starting his to final lose. form. His peak of being a menace when he shaved his head and I don't know what kind of razor this man was doing. I don't know what kind of deadly skin nah, I don't like getting, that he shaved his head. head shaved. He grabbed Cody Rhodes. I like that like Ted one DiBiase centimeter or whatever. He created legacy and he went after the McMahons. I'm telling you man, this was Super Saiyan Randy Orton right here. So his feud with the McMahon starts off pretty chill at first, okay? He's with Stephanie, he's insulting her and every week he just goes above and beyond. Oh. But slowly it becomes him straight up tormenting Steph. He eventually is like, oh, you're useless. You're this, you're that. In one episode of Raw, it was Vince and Steph in the ring and he just straight up says that, hey, now that you popped out some grandkids, you're essentially worthless. Yo, at that point already we're like, whoa, wow. that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. But nah, this was just the beginning. After that, he just goes off the rails. He goes off the rails in a level that we have oh, never no. seen before. So he slaps Vince McMahon and oh, then he no. punts him. He punts this 64 year old man, the owner of the company, punts him in the middle of the ring so then steph who's all like scared like oh my god you beat up my dad she brings back shane mcmahon who hadn't wrestled in a few years so she brings shane everyone's like yay and shane wins always right yeah do? well he beats his ass too he leaves shane a mess in the ring so then steph comes out because she's like the last hope what happens boom rko oh my so this god man the whole McMahon family the dad, he killed the brother and then he rko'd the sister hey yo somebody get linda out here so at this oh, point no. the whole family has been abused and there's only one man left there's only one one man left to save the day. The son-in-law Triple H comes out to save of the family course. name, to save the family's honor. So Triple H and Stephanie McMahon the for the first time is being acknowledged <gasps> on TV. So I want to watch this Triple whole H match. Is in the picture, and ladies I really want to watch this. This is it. We get the most iconic Randy Orton moments ever. <gasps> so yo, Randy had destroyed the McMahon so family. Epic. He had done it all. But then on one night, it was Legacy versus Triple H in a handicap match. Before they had their match at Mania, they had a handicap match. And man, Randy Orton must be one wild guy guy at home because apparently this man loves handcuffs so they take triple h he and they handcuff him, him to the again. ropes and he the says that there's Cena only one him. person who can save you now and she better hurry so she? Orton grabs a sledgehammer and he is about to wild out. But oh, Stephanie no. McMahon, she runs out there. She's crying. She's running and she begs them to stop. Just pleading and begging. And Randy Orton at his peak, in his prime, at his absolute best, he grabs her with Triple H handcuffed and begging him to stop having to watch this. He DD teaser right then and there. Yo, Steph is laid out and Triple oh H is freaking out. Triple H is going insane. And you think it's over. You think it's done. Like, wow, they really did it. You know, they DDT Stephanie McMahon. Wow, <gasps> oh what a great storyline it's done. But nah, we were just beginning. What do you Triple mean? Triple H is about to cry, okay? He is tripping. He is about to cry. But Randy is smiling. So he gets a sledgehammer and he's about to do this. He's about to catch a body. But he puts it down. He's like, you know what? I got a better idea. Of so Triple H, with tears in his eyes, handcuffed to the ring, he is forced to watch this. He is forced oh, to no. watch Oh no, he's not gonna do what I think he's gonna do. In history, in I my think opinion, I saw something this. that had the entire playground going crazy the next day. Randy oh Orton my smiling, God. looking at Triple H, kisses Stephanie eee, McMahon. What Fam, the hell, guys? This was insane. This was one of those things that felt surreal. Like, how was this happening? How was how is this possible? How is this this real? was in the PG era. This was 2009, but it felt Whoa. so surreal. And then Randy just grabs a slab jammer and boom, bangs in Triple H and walks oh. away, just leaving Triple H and his wife just lying Ooh. there. Oh my God, guys. On, whether he won or lost, it didn't matter. Oh, nine nope. was a year where he was in his <sighs> final form, where he wasn't even a wrestler anymore. At this point, he was just there to wild out, destroy final families, bus. and end careers. Look no further than the stuff that he did to John Cena in 2009. Back in 07, like we mentioned, he already beat up his dad and destroyed him, RKO'd him, all that stuff. But that, that wasn't enough. No, no, no. That was not enough. In 09, he was the ultimate supervillain, so we had to step it up. So in an I Quit match against John Cena at Breaking Point 2009. Wait, first of all, this wasn't even a match. My bad. It. This wasn't even a fight either. This was something that honestly you probably isn't even allowed on YouTube. Yo, Whoa, Randy why beat is Cena's thing? ass for a solid 25 minutes before you know Super Cena's powers kicked in, but he put out the handcuffs once again, again. And, he him, no. and he just started clapping him. He beat Cena's ass so bad that honestly it was kind of disturbing. Yo, he knocked him out and he was dragging his body like he was playing a hitman. But yeah, this man tied up Cena to the <laughs> post and he tortured him. He actually tortured him. He would have oh. waterboarded him if he could have. He got the kendo oh. sticks and he started just wild. And now he was like oh. a man possessed the chair shots that kendo's oh and yo trust me i have never heard john cena cry oh. like that like he did in this oh. match but how could we forget bragging rights 2009 after destroying families beating up dads and destroying legends you know he had to take it to the next level what was the next big thing he could do 
Uh, yeah, the faces of the someone? people. It was Cena versus Randy in an Iron nah. Man match for one hour. It was one hour of Randy Orton just being a straight up no menace. Way. So they're fighting, and Randy slams John Cena's one head into the pyro control fighting. thingy, and the pyro went off. And yo, I swear to God, Randy looked like a caveman who had just discovered fire for the first time. So first, he grabs John Cena and just throws him into the legs, trying to blow him up. Ooh, with the legs. fire! But that wasn't Ooh. enough. You know what? It didn't do enough damage. He needed more fire, more sparks. Oh my God. It wasn't enough. And it's like, yo, why stop there? Randy really wanted to be on the FBI's most wanted list. So Cena is literally crawling away for his life. He's trying to crawl away from this monster. He's trying to get away and he ends up on the stage. So Randy sees that Cena is on the stage and he goes to the pyro control thingy once again. And this man is spamming the buns like a kid playing Nintendo for the first time. He is just <laughs> bone matching like his life depends on it. And the fireworks just go off. You thought Kane was going to come out and pew, pew, pew. Randy Orton tried blowing up John Cena with fireworks in front of 20,000 people. Oh my god. Uh, uh, officer, yeah, yeah, this sir, this guy right here. Nah, man, it's crazy. Just look at him in 2002. This guy right here, look at his face. Somehow, <sighs> some way, this kid who looks like the most average 2002 American Eagle model you could possibly imagine went on to become a super villain yep. for the ages. Ladies yep. and gentlemen, without a doubt, I present to you a bona fide, certified menace to society, Randy Orton. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. For real. Wait, As what happened? Oh, oh, there's more. This Randy Orton's career went on and he did his thing. Okay, every now and then he would tweak and do something crazy, right. such as burning down houses, destroying earlobes, crashing in on Daniel Bryan. What? But like, this run right here from destroying 2004 earlobes? until 2009, this was unprecedented. Randy pushed the limits of what a heel was, okay? They did everything and anything they could possibly think of a Randy Orton heel. to do. Yo, I'm gonna be honest, we will never ever see a character go to that level ever again. Randy Orton did really? it all, and I'm so happy that I grew up in this era that I was able to watch so he's worse than Edge? at his absolute best just cause mayhem and destruction and be the biggest For savage Cena. you could possibly imagine. Randy Orton in his prime is like a top three heel. I don't care what anyone says. As a top heel, three? as a okay. man doing horrible vicious things, Randy Orton in his prime top three all time. I all don't right. care. Yo, in the comments below, leave your favorite Randy Orton savage moments, whether it's a quote, a match, anything, it doesn't matter. Let's give prime Randy Orton some of his flowers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video i had a lot of fun making it and reminiscing and just thinking about all the crazy stuff that and thank Randy you for making it it was really fun i hope you guys enjoyed it's your boy pav aka wrestling Ups. i'm out of here but yeah thank uh, you Randy so Orton, much the definition of a menace thank you so much you for sharing this video because of people who are actually sharing videos like this i am able to learn more and uh have the whole channel honestly the base of the channel is me learning more and having people who work really hard into digging deep and giving you the right info about it all but that is it guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more